So we're going to talk a little bit about chemtrails today. We're sitting here at the base of the Rocky Mountains and the edge of the plains called Colorado. And there's a storm, storm warning coming in next couple days, some snow and rain. And it's the end of May, end of May, end of March, sorry about that. So yeah, they're forecasting storms. Um, spring, typical spring weather. March and April in Colorado, but they were spraying the holy crap out of the skies this before the storm again and again. And I know that anybody who knows about chemtrails or some people even know what's in them, you know, aluminum dioxide and chloride and a lot of different things. But I think if you look at the volume of what has been sprayed over the decades, there's actually a scene, believe it or not, in Red Dawn towards the end. I'll see if I can find it, but it's about, oh, probably more than three-quarters of the way in the movies, and you can see a chem plane. <laughs> it's crazy. That was back 89 or something like that. But the, the point I'm trying to get to, sorry for being so long about it, is with the continual spraying for at least a decade, maybe more, in the majority of populated parts of this planet, the thing that I notice is they're probably not achieving their goal. If it is depopulation, it's not really working that well. There have been videos of more gallons and some different things that happen to people, but overall, if these humans who are doing what they're doing were more powerful than the Creator God, then they would have wiped us out a long time ago. I've been up into the mountains pretty recently and I don't see large swaths of trees being killed. I do see some kill and I do know that the quality of water and food and air have suffered but I honestly believe that the, the architect of this place keeps it in balance at least a balance that we can tolerate until we do something about it and I know anybody making a video or talking about it or sharing with their friends, family, and neighbors is trying to do something about it, just like me. But I, I think maybe we're, are we to the point where we have to do more? Where we have to physically stop these pilots and airplanes? Do they know they want, they're contributing to the problems of humanity, whatever that may be? I sometimes I wonder if they know, and if they do, then they're dark-hearted people and I don't think we have any problem stopping somebody like that. Our society, especially when I was growing up, 70s, 80s, really was, I think, brainwashed into forgetting about basic self-defense. To where if you're being attacked and you're going to suffer physical harm, you have a natural right through natural law and I mean, we'll go watch a couple animals go at it. They'll kill each other to defend their families. And as a species, I think we've lost that. I don't know if it's been entirely conditioned out of us, but as much as I understand about the Federal Reserve System, by rights, I probably should go and take action to defend my family, my life, the people I care about, from their corrupt, crooked money system. But I don't. And I don't know, for myself personally, I don't know if it's because I don't want to be that guy on television, being drug out in the orange jumpsuit, ranting and raving about the corrupt money system when there's not enough awareness yet. Or maybe there is enough awareness and we're so separated from each other that we don't take action. I think that may be part of it. When the colonists eventually took action against the British occupiers of the new land, it was because they were going to lose their gunpowder. And they knew if they were going to lose their gunpowder, it was over. And they banded together and they fought a revolution. And historically, whatever. Maybe you know that it was contrived, maybe you don't. Maybe it was, I don't know. But they were still a community. And I personally believe more than the famed 3% in our current situation understand what's going on. 
I've seen it just in sheer volume of YouTube channels with subscribers and views. If we add those up and even did some algorithmic math to take out the overlap, I know it's more than 10 million people understand what's going on. But we don't know each other. It could be my neighbor. It could be the guy down the street who knows, who wants to do something about it in a self-defense type of way. So I don't know. Just something I was thinking when I saw the chemtrails. All right. Until later, take care.